Hey there and welcome to Yak City Gaming everybody as the day has finally come we are going to start our new franchise mode after losing the Colorado YouTube stars so as I promised we are going to use the Operation Sports Forms rosters and you guys know throughout all my videos I regularly comment on the Jays games this and that so yeah we're going with the Toronto Blue Jays that's almost a no brainer for a second franchise mode so I hope you guys will enjoy this. I know I'm going to actually be very passionate about this. I'll have a lot more to talk about other than just like, oh, did you see how this guy on YouTube did? You know? So we're going to skip the spring. Whatever. Spring don't matter. I, th that's not the point of the game at this point. So we're going to take a look at the lineups. Obviously, we have a few things to do as we have to get rid of Ryan Gones. Uh, Anthony Ghost up there. AJ Jimenez is not supposed to be up here. So, of course... There are going to be a few changes from the opening day roster, but what we'll do is we'll try and get as close as possible. Of course, Goins isn't going to be in as a pinch hitter for Reyes because I don't plan on Reyes getting injured in the opening game, so we're going to kind of change things around. And of course, after the opening game, you're going to expect quite a bit different lineups from what it originally was this year so far. So, of course, forgot. I guess at the beginning of the year, the 40-man roster didn't include Juan Francisco. I don't know how that's possible. That guy is on fire right now. And so we will just remove that guy from the 40-man roster. I don't even know who he is. And we'll add Francisco and move him to the MLB. Man, trying to get ahead of myself here. And now we'll demote Goins, of course. And as you see, we don't have a second baseman. That's because Maestro's Turris isn't going to get injured. And we're going to have him as well. So, looking around. There we go. Looking for Steve Tollison right now. There's Maestro's Turris. There's Kawasaki. There's Tollison. He's over in left field. So, of course, he'll get called up at some point. Uh, yeah, he's not on the 40 man. So, he won't get called up right now. But he'll get called up at some point. Of course, Brett Laurie can play second base at two, so it'll be interesting dynamic. I don't know how John Gibbons does it. The guy is a wizard with his lineups. He seems to be able to win any way, any form with any roster he throws out there in any given game. So I definitely hope we can do similar to that. That would be nice. Uh, R.A. Dickey will be the opening day starter as he was. As you see, Strowman will be already in our rotation to start the year. That's, that's the plan. He's, he's outstanding. I want to see what he can do. And Steve Delabar, he might get demoted around this time in the game. Just uh, just to kind of give that real life sim, right? That's uh, what we're going to try and do. Of course, Brett Cecil needs to come up to the Major League Club because I can't afford not to have him. I don't know what's going on with the Blue Jay system on this uh on these rosters because they don't have a, another closing pitcher other than Casey Jansen so that's kind of risky but uh, I mean Sergio Santos can fill that role easily so Brett Laurie will be in there at third Reyes and Maestro Torres Ghost will be up there to start the year absolutely oh no we're going to move him to AAA I forgot I did that sorry guys uh, just for the time being until Rasmus of course he eventually gets injured and now we'll start to fix the opening day lineups. We'll get Meister's tourists in there at second base. And then we'll move over to right-hander no DH. As you see, I'm not going to put in Adam Lind anywhere because that just doesn't uh, quite make sense yet. Uh, who are we going to throw in? Who are we missing? We're missing the second baseman, but uh, I can't switch that. So we'll throw in Juan Francisco, even though Eric Kratz would most likely be the best choice there. And I think we're going to go with Kratz. Yes, we are, as Kratz will be the DH against left-handers. And as you know, Francisco and... He's... Man, can't talk here today. Francisco and Lind will alternate in against right-handers to start the season. Whoever gets hot will take that third base spot. And Brett Laurie will move over to second, squeezing out Miser as tourist. But for right now, we're just going to have that opening day feel to it for opening day 2014 in MLB The Show for this Blue Jays franchise mode. So we'll get through that. And just reviewing the lineups here, making the changes. I'd like to definitely... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure to brush up on the Blue Jays opening day lineup. I'll make it perfect, as close to perfect as possible, because without Ryan Goins, it's not going to be perfect. But, uh, well, and don't know if Eric Kratz is going to hit a two-run home run and only 9-2 loss to Tampa Bay, but 
all is well, right? So, we'll uh, get as close as possible here, and that'll pretty much do it for this roster. I know it was a tough 3-1 loss uh, for the Blue Jays tonight against the uh, Yankees. I definitely called that Stroman would have the experiments experience of his life though tonight against the Yankees if he threw six innings I don't know if he did that I haven't seen that stop but I know he allowed three runs and he gave up anywhere less than six hits I'm not exactly sure haven't looked at the full box score I just saw that there were three runs and six hits against the Jays tonight so I'll make sure to brush up on that and comment on that in the video somewhere else uh, in my next one of course as you see here the show really has the Blue Jays coaches just ranked terribly like the only one is Doug Stapleton and I'm not even sure what he's if he actually exists but John Gibbons is just brutal in this one that is you know what maybe a managerial change might be in order here just to increase those stats right off the bat I don't know that's something I'll look forward to into the next episode so I hope you guys are okay with all my stammering I did a little bit way too excited about this it's going to be a fun adventure I know I said that about the YouTube stars but this one's going to be a lot more fun because I'm a little bit more passionate about it so I'd like to thank you guys for joining us here on Yak City Gaming as always please subscribe 